back to the podcast or if you are brand new welcome my name is chloe and this is the quarter life crisis podcast and today i thought i would speak on the topic of feeling lost because it's something that i have been feeling for the last few weeks and it's a very strange feeling to have it's it can be unsettling but also if you come out of it the other end in one piece very transformative it can really change you as a person and your life I don't think it's a topic that's spoken about openly and it's not even a taboo subject it's nothing like that but I don't really see many people speak about feeling lost it's kind of like you're a kid and then you become an adult and it's all sorted out but I don't really think that is the reality of life and I think this is something that everyone experiences in life whether it's a small amount an overwhelming amount everyone experiences it at some point so let's get into it so the feeling of being lost can take on many different forms I think for some people it could just be a sudden realisation that their life doesn't really align with who they are as a person or who they wish to be. It could be that I'm in a teaching job but I actually want to be a vet- veterinarian. What the what the hell do I do? How do you take that jump? How does that even come about? It could be something literally as simple as a lifestyle choice change it could just be you wake up one day and you think I don't like this person I don't want to speak to them it, it can be many different things but it's just this feeling of like well I don't know what to do it's not some people wake up and have these feelings and fix them then on the spot but sometimes you really don't know how to go about it and that's where the feeling of being lost comes in and for other people sorry it might be it might be that they're feeling like this ongoing sense of uncertainty I I don't know what to do in life I constantly don't know what I should do as a career maybe or relationship wise if it's not working out if it's not been working out for a while like what do I even do um or yeah feeling directionless So I do think that feeling lost can take on many different forms. It's not a kind of set in stone kind of feeling. It's not, oh yeah, I feel lost. It's not something that everyone feels the same way. I think for some people, it could literally just be one day you wake up or you're driving to work or you're driving back from work. You could be in the shower. It doesn't matter. But you could just have the sudden thought feeling of, this isn't right or something needs to change or what the hell do I do (laughs) and yeah it it could be that you just have a sudden feeling of the life that you're living at that current moment in time doesn't align with who you are as a person little things big things it could be anything but you could just think okay this is who I am but the life that I'm living is absolutely not reflective of that Or it could be that the life that you're living is on a pathway to you becoming a person that you don't even want to be. And it's not negative, it's not it's not like a dark path in life, but it could just be a little thing that you you think, I don't want to be that person and again, how do I change that? For other people it could just be this ongoing sense of uncertainty or feeling like you're not going in the right direction in life. That could manifest in any part of life, honestly. Relationships, careers, social life, anything like that. You could just think maybe something's going wrong all the time and you just don't know what to do or you're doing something but you're never quite sure about it. And for other people, it could just be a very subtle undercurrent in life of this discontent that something's not quite right you can't quite figure it out and I think I do believe gradually it will grow into a bigger thing it's not something that you can ignore this kind of feeling it will just grow and grow and grow until it's right there 
slapping you in the face, basically. But I do think that no matter how this feeling appears for people, it can be very confusing. And honestly, quite frightening. Um, You're definitely... As a child, you're definitely fed the narrative of... As a kid, you know, you make mistakes. You're figuring life out, you know. Kids kind of get a pass if they do something wrong because it's... Oh, you've never done it before, you're figuring it out. As soon as you become an adult, everything's meant to fit into place. Everything's supposed to be figured out. You're meant to know what you want to do just in life, career, relationships, everything, you're supposed to have it all. And as a, as a kid, you do look at adults, or at least I did, but you do look at adults and think, wow, they're honestly superheroes because they have it all figured out, or they put forward this persona of having life figured out. Just this, everyone seems so confident and everyone seems to know what they're doing and, you know, life is so easy. And, and I was like, wow, when I grow up, you know, life is going to be a breeze, (laughs) but it's not, actually not, and I think to feel lost, what, what is feeling lost? Usually, or at least I think my, my perception of feeling lost is not necessarily just feeling a lack of direction in life, it's almost a deeper sense of disconnection, from yourself or from your purpose in life what you want to do and sometimes just from the world around you you could walk down the street and just feel like what on earth am I doing you could be at a party and feel like I don't belong here this isn't my kind of scene it can be anything honestly and when you're experiencing this feeling you might find yourself questioning your decisions, little ones, big ones, am I in the right job, am I dating the right person, have I got the right hair colour, honestly little things like that, you can question your values, like who am I as a person, do I really, do I want to be treated this way or do I actually, do I, do I like how people are treating me, do I want to have this friendly persona or do I actually want to say it how, how it is, you really do question everything, little things, do I want to wear this much makeup, or do I want to keep it more natural, or do I like to dress this way, or do I not, and then it, it, it's literally any single little thing, big thing, you question it all, you might also, as far as questioning yourself and things goes, you might also wake up one day, one night, whenever, and have a realisation that the life that you're living just doesn't feel like your life, it almost feels like you're living through a person, think about playing The Sims, it can kind of feel like someone is directing you how they think you should live life, or maybe you're playing the game yourself and you think this is how life should be, but it actually isn't really what you want, now I have personally experienced this feeling more than once, but I would say, as it is right now, it's not as intense of a feeling as I have had it sometimes, but as of right now, I'll go for right now because I'm feeling lost currently, I have a stable job, I have an amazing partner, I live a very settled life, I don't, there's nothing upturned within my life, there's nothing unstable or anything like that, but I still have this feeling and yeah, so on the surface, to anyone, to an outsider looking in, it looks fine, perfect, you know, and it is my life, I, I really do value the life that I am living right now, but I do just have this sense of unease, it's, it's there, it's just there, and I cannot shake the feeling that something's missing, and I think for me, I look at the people that were in high school, like in my year in high school, and the thing that I think I'm missing is that I did not go to university because I hopefully in the future I do want a career in social work now I don't know in which avenue that may be whether it's children and families or in a more social aspect 
in the community and things. I do think I want to work more with children, but you need to go to university for that. It's not something that I can get my foot into without having a bachelor's degree. And so hopefully, hopefully in the coming years, I will go to university, but that is definitely something that's on my mind a lot because by now, if I had gone to uni when I left school, I would already be graduated and potentially have the job that I want. I'm not unhappy in life at all, but there's just this nagging sense that I'm not living the life I'm meant to. Like, like somewhere, some other universe, there's me, but doing everything I wish I had done in a younger age, because... I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but when I was 18, or, well, actually, yeah, when I was 18, you leave school, and the next step, in the UK anyway, is university, and it it is pushed on you quite heavily, you you need to go to university, you know, you'll never get a job without going to university, and I don't believe university is a necessity, there's many different people, many well-established, well-respected people, high earners, even just low earners, it doesn't matter, but there's many, many people well established in their life that didn't go to university. And I don't think university is basically make or break for the life that you'll live at all in any sense. But I do believe university, if you want to go into certain avenues with jobs and things, it is needed. For me, I want to work with children and you need to have a bachelor's degree for that at least. At least a bachelor's degree. Every single job that I've looked at asks for a bachelor's degree. And I know there's different ways to go about it, but for me, university is the easiest. But I look back at 18-year-old Chloe and I kind of hate her in a way because I wish that she had gone to university. But also, me at 18, university was honestly the last thing on my mind. I did not want to go. I didn't even know, honestly, my career. I didn't know for certain if working with children or families and things... I didn't know if that was exactly what I wanted to do and I couldn't commit to such a lifelong thing honestly because you know it's a lot of money a lot of time a lot of effort and I didn't know if I was ready to commit to that when I was still unsure about if it's what I wanted now that I know it is I wish I'd have just bit the bullet and just gone anyway but you can't you can't really hate yourself for not doing something that you didn't know you wanted like you're young you don't know what you want I think university is a big commitment to 18 honestly some people you know it works for them some people it doesn't and I was just so scared that it wouldn't work out I know now that it would have but anyway off topic (laughs) but it's it's a very hard feeling to put into words to be lost you can't you can't exactly pinpoint it because it's so it's such a dynamic feeling for every single person, it's so different, you can't, just because I feel lost, how how I'm experiencing it, that doesn't mean my neighbour will feel it in the exact same way, and also, it's dynamic to the person, I could feel lost now, in the way that I am, but then wake up tomorrow and feel it differently, it's not, it's not a thing that you can just say, this is it, because it changes every single day, moment, second, it also changes person to person, it's just, it's a strange one, it's just very difficult to put into words, you can't quite grasp it, and you know it's there, it does, it kind of clouds your vision, and it makes everything feel uncertain, when you're, when you're experiencing this feeling, and when you can't quite pinpoint what it is, or what's causing it, you then apply it to everything, Um, every single thing you do think feel everything is now lost (laughs) and yeah you do really question your your career any relationships um platonic or not your goals in life if you're working towards something like for me university do I even want to go will it even work out in the end and it's honestly a snowball effect because you feel this feeling and then you question it but the more that you question it the more lost you feel because you're not getting an answer but here is the thing 
feeling lost it's not it's not just about not knowing where you're going in life it's also about not recognizing the path that you're on and it's like I'm trying to think of an analogy it's like think of being in a forest and every single tree is the exact same copy and paste there's no defining factors about any single tree they're all the same and it's like no matter which way you turn you can't find your way also you can, that is my one of my worst fears to be lost in a forest and not find your way out but yeah like like you're being in a maze basically but there's no end to the maze you just cannot find an end to anything nothing can be you know done and dusted get it, it it's always there it's very disorientating and it can be honestly incredibly lonely because like I say it's not something that everyone feels the same so if you say to someone I'm feeling very lost in life they may be like oh well I felt that and it wasn't that bad so and you can't relate to that person or they can't relate to you Uh, or you may not even know someone that has felt lost so they can't even try to understand it's just it's a very lonely feeling because the way that you're experiencing it is personal to you and it's not necessarily something that someone else can understand anyway so you know it's not a nice one uh so now let's explore why people feel lost there are honestly many different reasons and there's too many to count right now we'll we will be here for you know multiple hours but I do think that they often boil down to one singular thing and I think that it's a disconnect between who you are who who we are as a as a person and who we think we should be so you look at your life now and you think this is me but I actually want to be this person or it could just be life like this is my life but I actually want it to be this way so I mean yeah like I said in a young from a young age you're told this is how life should be and you are given just to go deeper into it you're given like expectations of what success looks like and success again is a very loaded word it's not it's not like okay success in its most greatest form you know a billionaire or someone who owns multiple successful businesses or you know richest person on the earth anything like that that's I would say that's kind of like the blueprint for success but that's not very realistic firstly like you know to be a billionaire it's it's mainly you're born into it anyway so you know but I think this blueprint for life that we're given from a young age to you know go to school get a job build a career find a partner start a family the white picket fence and everything you're told what you should what what success is as as a whole you know you want to you want to be the highest earner or you want to be the most successful or things like that what you should strive for how you should behave for some people this these set standards or the blueprint whatever works for them you know they go into life and like yeah this is exactly how my life should be but for others it doesn't quite fit there's a I think it this feeling does stem from you know being told what life is from a young age but you look at your life and think well that's not what other people have they have it better maybe in your eyes or other people have done this earlier than me or other people have done things different than me and things like that and this is where the feeling can come in you might even just follow along with this life and check off each single milestone as you achieve it but then maybe at the end of it or maybe in the middle or maybe even at the beginning you find that it doesn't bring you this satisfaction that you're told it will and 
maybe you do excel in your career maybe you're so amazing in your job you know you're getting all these different promotions or there's so many people that respect you or you're well known in your field of work but you really just don't feel fulfilled you feel so unfulfilled you feel like yeah okay I'm doing it all as I should but it's not really bringing me any joy like I don't like the job I'm in or I think that the job I'm working is boring it can can honestly be anything or maybe you have a loving relationship a partner but you still feel this sense of emptiness or maybe you've accomplished every single thing in life that you wanted to but something still feels a bit off a haze something like a, a thought in the back of your mind there's just something not quite right and this is where that feeling creeps in when there's when you've done life or when you're trying to figure out life or when there's just something that's not quite right I think yeah for me the disconnect was I mean I felt it many different times but as as of right now the disconnect is that I look at life and I look at other people and how they live life and in no way do I want someone else's life I know that every single person lives a very different life you know you're given first of all when you're born there you go you're already different to everyone else and who you are as a person you know you've all got different personalities and things you see life differently you have different outlooks and think every single thing in life is different but I do look at some people and I think they really strived for their careers and things earlier than I did and I kind of feel very behind everyone else like I'm in the back of the group or I'm the last to be picked for a <laughs> for football or something even though I hate football but I think that the life I live right now you know I've got a job and everything and I do feel happy I'm very happy with life but I still feel so disconnected because I look at what could have been almost I guess in in the sense of career this is purely career based my be my feeling of being lost for me is purely career based and I think that I am a very driven person within my career if I can if I mean the job I'm in right now doesn't really it doesn't have any room for promotion or anything but if I was working a job that gave me room for promotion I work my ass off to get that promotion I my first ever I I would say my first ever big girl job I had worked like part-time before this but my first ever big girl job because I went to the interview and got it all by myself is when I was 19 I think and I just moved in with my brother and I got a job at Starbucks and some people may think it's a good job some people don't whatever I loved it and I start you start off as a barista you just at the tail or you're serving customers and things I think 14 months later I became a supervisor so I got promoted and then six months after that I became a manager now I do believe the manager thing was pure luck because my manager was wanting to leave for a while and she it was between me and one other girl but the other girl really didn't want to be a manager so my manager approached me and she was like look you're both ideal candidates but you're the only one who would want to do it so maybe I was actually second choice who knows but I was given the job anyway and I loved it I loved I was so stressed right I was so stressed every single day every single day even if it was my day off I would be hounded calls texts everything from my manager from people who worked for me there was so much fucking drama as a manager and I thought you know becoming a manager no one's gonna want to speak to me which honestly is my ideal scenario but it was anything but every single day stress central but I really did enjoy it I honestly thrive in those kind of scenarios work Chloe is a very different person to out of work Chloe I kind of take on this persona it's so strange but I also really do work well under pressure so as soon as it's busy or as soon as there's so much going on that I need to sort out I'm immediately like a different fucking person honestly but I just feel a bit I I, I guess I feel like I'm I'm at a bit of a, a brick wall like nothing's really going like I can't I can't excel in my career 
and I could get a new job but the only thing that's preventing me right now is that I don't know a well enough understand I don't have a well enough understanding of Dutch um I'm currently at I a- I two which is literally baby like fresh out the womb you're a beginner and I need to be at B2 so I still need to take two more classes and I need to take a test to show that I actually understand Dutch to a B2 level so again that's probably my feeling of being lost because I don't have any avenue to to improve on right now in the sense of I can't get a new job I can't do anything else right now I've looked I've I'm I'm still looking at other things and it seems like everything's just coming to a brick wall and I can't I can't even get past the wall there's, n- there's nothing it's an endless wall <laughs> another reason that some people might feel lost is actually because life is uncertain you cannot unless your life by a parent or whoever has been planned out for you step by step every single day unless every single day of your life has been planned out for you, you do not know what, what's going to happen, even if you just walk out onto the street, you don't know who you're going to be met with, you don't know who you'll bump into, who you'll interact with, everything is uncertain, you cannot, you cannot know for sure what's going to happen, and you think you have control over your life, and you do to a certain extent, it's not like you, you know, it's not like you're completely, <laughs> at the hands of someone else deciding what life will be it's nothing like that but much of what happens is beyond our control you you know you can't decide other people's lives so what they do may affect you you don't on that specific day you know you're going to work you think yeah I'm going to be on time and then suddenly you're late because there's traffic that the sat nav didn't pick up or you cannot you cannot control everything a lot of things are beyond our control you can plan and prepare all you want, you can plan every single day, but life throws curveballs, so yes, you can plan it all out, but really, is it going to end up happening that way, unexpected events, changes in circumstances, shifts even in your own desires and priorities, you know, that can also just, something came up, you know, I can't do this now, I need to go here, these these moments of change can leave you feeling untethered unsure of what to do next because like I say you think things are going to be done a set way or even if you live a life that's just like whatever fuck it what happens happens even then if something doesn't happen how you think it will you can just feel a certain way about it but I do really think It's important to recognise that feeling lost is not always a bad thing. And I don't think it is a bad thing in general. I think when it snowballs into a a bad thing, when it kind of overtakes your life and then starts preventing you from doing things or, you know, being who you are in general, that's when it's bad. But as it is in just a feeling to begin with, I really don't think it's a bad thing. I think that it can be a sign that we're, that you're outgrowing your older version. Think of it as like an update, you know, updating Windows, I'm updating my brain. And yeah, it could be, it could even be that you're ready for a new chapter in life, you're ready for something new, you know, you're ready to embrace something new. And I do believe this can be a catalyst for growth, um... It can push you to explore new possibilities and ask yourself important questions to, f- to feel this feeling. Yes, okay, if you say I'm feeling lost, it's not necessarily this like, oh, congratulations, you know, no one's going to congratulate you for feeling lost in life. But it really does kind of put life into perspective and it can make you ask the questions of what do I really want in life? Do I want this job? Do I want to be this person's partner? Do do I want kids, things like that, or even do I want this sandwich from Tesco, or anything like that, what makes me truly happy, you know, diving into that, what, at the core of your being, what is it that you want from life, what will make you happy, who are you, who, who are you, (laughs) who are you, who are you, like, who do you want to be, beneath 
beneath everything, beneath the expectations, beneath <sighs> roles and labels, you know, we live in a society, but beneath everything, just at the very core of your being, what do you want? What will make you truly happy? Who are you? Beneath everything, who are, who are you? Who am I? So, now, how do how does one <laughs> navigate feeling lost? Because, you know, like I said, it's a brick wall kind of effect. Or like walking through a mist, walking through a, a forest, a maze, anything like that. It's very tempting to want quick fixes. And I think in the world we live in right now, everything is so easily accessible to you to you like social media you know you walk out and there's like 10 different shops for the same thing you can just google something online now so it's very tempting to just want something to be fixed now or to do something now and you know have it done to fix the problem as soon as possible because it's not a nice feeling and you don't want to dwell on it you don't want it to be there all the time you don't want to feel it every day for months you want it done you want it done and gone now but (laughs) and it's a big but (laughs) sometimes the best thing that you can do honestly is to sit with it have it there and just allow yourself to embrace it just be lost you know yeah I'm doing I'm living this life I'm doing this thing I'm being this person but I'm lost and you just have to kind of adapt take it take it under your wing and be like this is my son lost you know like this is it's just a part of who you are now and it can be very uncomfortable you know I think with very confronting feelings like this any any quote-unquote negative feeling you just want it gone and to embrace it is such a foreign thing because again we're taught if you feel anything negative you need to get rid of it and if it's you you know to embrace it and just let it be it it kind of goes against everything you've been taught or you know anything like that and I think in this space of not knowing just this space of what is going on I'm lost I don't know what to do what is life what is everything I think that's often where you find who you are and what you want to to be happy or just what you want in life anything like that to be able to sit and dwell on it that's where you will find the answers and it, it you can't google it you can't ask you can ask other people and they can kind of give you an insight but it's definitely something that you need to do by yourself and that I mean that's me now like you know I know where the feeling of being lost is coming from for me I know I know what I need to do to fix the situation I and I am doing that it's a slow process so again the feeling will be here for a while and it does come and go it it ebbs and flows for me which some people may experience it the same way some people may just experience it all the time and you know it won't go until you've fixed what you need to fix yeah it, it was hard but I just accepted it you know I'm like yeah okay I'm feeling this feeling and it does give you insight it gives you clarity let's say so I think the first step for it is that you kind of you have to admit to yourself and it's a hard pill to swallow but you have to admit to yourself that you don't have it all figured out and that to feel that is okay because again you're being told all these different things from a young age and then to not have that it's kind of like okay well I fucked up my life but you haven't it, it, it's not like that at all you may have done something wrong or you may have taken the wrong step in life but that's okay you know no no single person on this earth is perfect looks wise career wise personality wise no single person is perfect and I, I honestly fully believe in the phrase and I know it's a very gimmicky phrase like it's memed about a lot but fake it till you make it genuinely every adult that I know fakes it till they make it I don't know anyone who is genuine like yeah 
I'm so happy in life, da, da, da. they're all faking it, everyone's faking it, I'm faking it, I'm joking, <laughs> I am happy, but, you know, I haven't got life figured out, nothing's figured out, I honestly don't believe, until I'm retired, which is probably going to be when I'm 100 now, but, until I'm retired, you've never got it figured out, and probably even then, there'll be some things that you like bloody out, like, you know what I mean, I don't, I really don't think life is ever settled in the sense of every single thing falls into place I think there's always something that's not quite right but I nothing's ever gonna be all like in place every you're never gonna have every single thing in place there's always gonna there's always something always there's always one little thing or one big thing that happens and it's you know life is never settled and you know shoe on the other foot devil's advocate whatever you want to call it we do kind of live in a world right now, well, we live in a society, but we do kind of live in a world right now where everything is so easily accessible, like I say, you walk outside, there's 10 shops for the same thing, and I do think that it's great, but also bad, because it definitely feeds into the life of everything's quick, everything needs to be now, you know, you you need this one thing, Amazon delivery can deliver it for you tomorrow, or even same day, which is absolutely bizarre in my mind but social media like everything is now quick and that does make you feel like if your life isn't the same if it's not all figured out or if you want to change something you can't do it tomorrow that causes the same feeling it's okay to not know what you want if you to feel uncertain about the future that's absolutely okay I don't believe any single person knows what they want, like, what their future looks like, when when you're in an interview and you're asked, where do you want to be in five years, I have no idea, mate, my, my entire mindset could have changed within five years, even if I want the same thing, I probably, in five years time, will go about it a completely different way, because I've changed, I have experienced something, or anything, any single thing can happen, and to tell myself this, to say that it's okay to not have it all figured out, was such a huge relief, I cannot, the feeling that people say often of like feeling a weight being lifted off your shoulders, honestly, I honestly can agree with that, because up up until that point, I had been trying so, so hard to maintain this illusion to myself, to fool myself, that I had everything under control, but honestly, once you let go for that need of certainty, or that need to know things that are going to happen, in like, I need to know what's going to happen in life, or I need to know what I need from life, you really do start to feel more at peace with where you are, and I'm not now saying, if you feel lost in life, don't do anything about it, because you'll figure, you'll, you'll eventually feel fine, I'm not saying that at all, I'm just saying, sit on it, you will then find what you want from life, and if you admit to yourself that you can't have this thing tomorrow, or you can't control everything in life, or you you don't have it all figured out, you really feel so much better, (laughs) it's just so much less stress, amazingly, it's an amazing feeling, honestly, and one thing that helped me, I mean, (laughs) it's what's helping me right now, is just talking about it, I, I mean, before podcasting, I used to send voice notes to mainly my dad, but also family members and things, and... (laughs) I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I used to record these voice notes and listen back to them and listen to myself speak, which, you know, podcasts probably sound like the perfect job for me right now, but I used to listen back to what I was saying, because when you're speaking, when you're speaking, I was going to say when you're speaking words, but yeah, duh, what else are you going to speak? But when you're speaking, you you don't really hear yourself, honestly, you really don't hear yourself speak you know what you're saying, but it goes in one ear and out the other, but I used to listen back to these voice notes, and 
it puts so much into perspective, honestly. And even right now, I'll listen back to this and I'll be like, wow, I actually feel that. Or like, and I do it all the time when I'm editing, mainly. Like, I'll listen back to it all and I'm like, wow, I actually think or feel or said that. And I guess you could liken this to journaling, you know, keeping a diary and things. I'm just doing it digitally. You know, I'm just doing it with my voice. But when you speak about your thoughts, your fears, hopes questions that you have in life and things and don't censor yourself when you when you're doing all of this just let it all out let it all out on a page on a voice note to a person let it all out you see patterns you see patterns in what you're saying or what you're thinking feeling anything like that and you notice what really matters to you what you're passionate about And what you want to change in life, if you're saying this one specific thing, I hate, I hate, I I really don't like your job, I really don't want this job, or this one friend is really dragging me down all the time, and you know, it's really not making me feel good, even if it's minuscule things, so if you're going to see a friend and they make comments about a specific thing every single time, if you're writing that down, you can see the patterns in what's going on. And then you know where it's coming from. If you if you say, like, oh, I set an alarm for 9am, but I don't get out of bed until 12. And then the rest of the day, I just feel like he's gone, so I don't do anything. That's the pattern that you'll start seeing, and that's where you know where change needs to happen. And doing these things does become a way for you to connect with your inner self, because it's kind of like conscious and, and, subcon- and unconscious and subconsciousness. <laughs> god's sake like you there's so many things that you do and think subconsciously that affect your mindset and your life in general and you don't think about them because you're doing it subconsciously and especially for me now when like this is my way of saying it all when I listen back there's so many things that I say and I'm like I did not know I thought that way I did not know I felt that way little things and I'm like wow that actually really affected me a lot more than I thought it did and another thing I think and this is a big one that I think really really helps is to simplify life and what I mean by that is when you're experiencing this feeling or even just a general person if you're not feeling any type of way I think everyone can benefit from doing this it can be very overwhelming to try and figure out everything at once. So if you're going through a period of stress, if you're going through a period of feeling lost, if you're going through a period in life where you just don't know what the fuck is going on, you don't know, (laughs) you don't know your left from your right, instead of trying to tackle every single thing, focus on the basics, take care of yourself, take a shower, brush your teeth, things like that, which, yes, again, are kind of subconscious, but when you're not in a quote-unquote normal mindset they're not subconscious things you very much have to get up and do them and you know you're doing them and every single thing you know that you're doing it and it really is an effort to do it so take care of yourself even if it's a little thing like putting a hair mask in can make a world of difference even if it's painting your nails even if it's making your favorite food having your favourite drink, having a really, really nice coffee, anything like that, going out on a walk, taking yourself out on a date, and yes, you can date yourself, take yourself out on a date, shopping trip, even if it's just reading a book, anything, something, just take care of yourself, do things that bring you, do things that bring you joy, you know, reading, if you have a hobby, knitting, my my hobby is knitting, I'm a little old woman, <laughs> knitting um watching a movie going out and doing something like anything bowling I love bowling going bowling um riding a bike anything like that and spend this is a good one spend time with people no and also spend time with people that uplift you and friends mom dad sister brother anything like that make the conscious effort to slow down create a space in your life for reflection 
and rest your brain needs the rest (laughs) and like I say in that space you find clarity you when you're letting this feeling sit with you and you simplify things and you look after yourself and your mind isn't then racing at a thousand miles a minute and you can really just look at everything as a whole and it really gives you clarity and it's also important that you know that people know in general that you don't have to do this all alone you know any journey you're never alone if you have to just if you speak to someone that you trust a friend a therapist a mentor in your life any someone online anything it can provide a new perspective and a new insight and someone like that can look at things objectively and they don't have any kind of thoughts or feelings about it but you in yourself you kind of you do look at things differently because it's oh it's me so this thing isn't that bad or you know downplaying things but someone else can be like no this is what I think this is what I think you should do they can give you a different angle and they can also give you support as you navigate through the maze you know that you can never find an end to don't underestimate the power that can be when you speak to someone else just being around people can make a difference or just not even it doesn't have to be physical just having someone just having one singular person can make a whole whole difference as I navigated this feeling because I'm still I should say as I am navigating this feeling it's not something to fear or to avoid if you feel yourself if you feel it creeping in don't immediately jump to oh my god like this is the end of the world or like the end of my life I can't believe it like something's really 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 badly wrong it, it's not like that at all I think it's very much a natural part of life an integral part of life like I said earlier you kind of almost have to experience it honestly like it's just a part of life and often in these moments of uncertainty is where we find the biggest growth in ourselves there's a lot of I can definitely say for sure the big (laughs) the big experiences that I've had have absolutely shaped me the most and always for the good in the moment some things I've said or done probably weren't the best but then out of everything it's really shaped me into who I am today and I wouldn't really change it for the world feeling lost in particular can be a sign for me I think anyway that you're kind of on the brink of something new and that you're gonna step into a new chapter and I just I just really do believe it's something to embrace to look at it more positively and to not think it's this atrocious thing and you never wish to experience in it it is scary when you're in it but then it really does help in in the grand scheme of it all and yeah I've I've be I have begun to see this feeling as not a failure like you're not you're not losing at life you're not taking a negative from anything it's an opportunity honestly it's an opportunity to find yourself to figure out what you want in life to reevaluate things and ask yourself what do you really want what out of everything in your life what do you actually want but I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned from being lost you know I think I'm a bloody pro at it now but it's just the importance of self-compassion and I think when you're feeling lost it's so easy to beat yourself up you know to say why am I feeling this way well it's clearly something I've done in life or whatever that I've I've mucked up somewhere to make me feel this way and you think well I should have it all figured out so how am I failing at life now or like I am failing at life so what have I done but the truth is to feel lost is part of life and it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong it just means you're growing as a person and becoming who you're meant to be so you really shouldn't beat yourself up about it and it I definitely think it's an easy thing to do and you again you do it subconsciously you don't even know you're doing it but it's really not something you should do because to feel this feeling is not a negative and it's not 
inherently something you've done in life it's just how life has come to be and if you're not happy with that that's absolutely fine like I say I don't believe anyone is fully truly happy with their life there's always some things that they would like to tweak but just embrace that every single person is going through it as well so don't beat yourself up and think you're the only one because you're not so if anyone else in the world is feeling lost right now it is okay it's okay to not have it all figured out to have all the answers to know what's next it's okay to take your time and to explore these different paths and to trust that you'll find your way of course you will you know everything works out in the end even if it's like you're climbing a million hills (laughs) consecutively it will all figure itself out in the end and don't rush the process you don't have to have it all figured out in one go no one does And sometimes, like I say, the best thing to do is embrace it. And it's a very scary and a very ballsy thing to do, can I add, because it's so easy to, you know, you fight or flight. For me, flight. It's so easy to just run away from it all and ignore it. It it takes, honestly, true bravery to embrace these kinds of feelings and to trust in in the the feeling and to just trust that everything will work out it's very ballsy you you because you can't you're not trusting anything it's not like you're trusting a person there's nothing there to trust you just have to be like yeah it'll work out in the end and like I said it's a very ballsy thing to do but feeling lost is not a dead end you're not it's not the end of your life just think about it as like you're discovering something new or you're ready to be part of a new journey or things like that so on that note I will leave it there I hope everyone enjoyed if you made it this far if you did I'm sorry I yap but I hope it was somewhat insightful sometimes I yap and say nothing sometimes I yap and say everything it's a 50 50 split on which Chloe you're gonna get based on the day honestly but yeah anyway I'm gonna go I'll see you all next week bye